hopefully I can do a video today without turkeys going off. <laughs> so I'm in the greenhouse today and transplanting at least the brandy wine into bigger pots because they're the biggest tomatoes right now. And let me show you what they look like with the, um, the jugs opened up, how big they are. So that there is the brandy wine. They've gotten a little bit bigger since I've opened them up. I opened them up on the day that we put up the, um, or the day after we put up the greenhouse. And then here is the cherry tomato in the yellow pear. I've got some brown going on on the leaves. I'm going to have to Google that and find out why. This is the other, these here are the other gallon of brandy wine that I already transplanted and they've actually put on quite a bit of growth since I've transplanted them. So excited about that. I just need to figure out what's going on with the brown leaves. Anybody know? Please put it in the comments below. In the meantime I'll be googling it. I need to figure out why they're browning. That kind of scares me. We also got a gift from someone that Stuart, is work, that Stuart works with. She gave us all these plants in the flats. And um, also, I think this is a pumpkin. She gave us a pumpkin. But she gave us more tomato, a bunch of different jalapenos, um, basil, eggplant, a ring of fire something. I can't read it from here because I don't have my glasses on. Uh, she gave us some more zucchini. I think there's a cucumber in here. More tomato. Way awesome. So we're going to have plenty of tomatoes. And her tomatoes look really good compared to mine. They don't have any browning leaves. So I've got something going on with mine that I need to figure out what. Get them healthier before they're planted in the garden. But yay! Oh, and look! My jalapenos are coming up. Look at that. Look at those little baby sprouts. Right there. Look at those little baby sprouts. And there's another one popping up over here. Finally, but might be might be too late for those. The jalapenos that she gave me are a lot bit a lot bigger. But that's okay. We'll still plant them out there and see what happens with them, right? And then look at my tom my tomatillos. Pull those forward so you can see. Yeah. This is the first time ever with me trying to grow tomatillos. I love tomatillos. Make a good green salsa. So the thing that I found that does suck with growing in the gallon jugs is trying to get them out. Last time I did it, I just kind of emptied it upside down. Figured that was the safest way to do it with hopefully not hurting any of the plants. We've got quite a few projects going on today. Um, Stuart's cleaning the chicken coop right now. And then um, when he's done with that, and I'm done with this, hoping that I get to use my chainsaw for the first time today. Because uh, he wants to get some wood bucked up. And I've been super excited to use my chainsaw. So I'm just carefully breaking it apart, trying to save as much of the soil around the plant as I can, because I know that's supposed to, that's what you're supposed to do.
next year I'll definitely be doing this a lot earlier than I did this year in the the gallon jugs for the hardier plants you can start you can start seeding in winter and just put them outside and they're going to come up when the conditions are right for them so I definitely plan on doing that next year with the hardier seeds but also the tomato seeds I want to get going a lot sooner than I did this year I think it was what month is this May I think it was March I can't remember now Maybe it was April, early April. Now oh, it's in that funky video that I did. I posted that the day or the day after that I actually planted the seeds. So my thinking is, because we have such a, grow, a short growing season up here, is if I can keep them in the greenhouse as long as possible, which is why I planted them in the big pots, I'm hoping that they can get as big as possible before it just gets way too hot in here for them and then I can plant them out in the garden I don't know am I am I thinking right I got my fingers crossed that that'll work all right I'm gonna give them a dose of a little bit of dose of water and then head up and find some more pots for the pear tomato and the cherry tomato because they're getting too big too all right, so we got everything transplanted. Oh my gosh, those guinea are noisy. I started running low on dirt, so I doubled up the pear tomatoes in their own pots. And everybody else has single tomatoes. A lot of tomatoes. Oh, and yeah, so the brown leaves, it's looking like it's a water issue. So I need to make sure that these get enough water. All right, you guys remember that arch that we put up last year? Didn't hold up so well under the uh, snow load. We didn't think about that. And with how much snow, of course, we get up here. There was just no way that I would be able to come down here every day and trample through all that snow to clear off the arch. So, got some maintenance to do on the garden, on the arch, the garden fence and the arch. I'll be taking all the branches off, probably removing the arch, because Stuart doesn't think that we're going to be able to bend it back into shape. It's bent pretty bad right there. So, which is fine. We'll take it out, maybe do an arch some other time and use some vine or something like that. And then all these, so Stuart put up all these cross pieces. I love the way it looks because it looks like an old, old fence. But they didn't hold up so well over the winter either. Some of them completely fallen off. You can see this one needs to be put back up. So need to do some maintenance on that because it does help keep the deer out so they can't jump over and then I spread all the mulch that I picked up late last year I finished getting all that spread out I need to come in here and take care of some of these grasses and stuff before it's time to start planting start blocking off oh yeah and we got to build a gate to keep the chickens out but other than that the garden's almost ready to go that's it for the garden stuff today. I'm going to go help Stuart finish the chicken coop. And then hopefully I can use my new chainsaw. Thumbs up on that. And uh, help Stuart buck up some wood. I'm excited. And definitely will be putting that on video. Of course. So don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. And hit that bell. So you can see Tony learning how to use a chainsaw. Bye.